Hey you guys, it's Shondara. What is up and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you thumbs up this video and make sure you're following me on all my social media sites. And in today's video, we are going to put Cetaphil's uh, what is this daily facial cleanser to the test with Neutrogena's gentle daily facial cleanser foamy formula to see which one is the dupe and who copied who. Like one day I was washing my face with this and I was smelling this and I was just in the shower washing my face and I was like this, this product here Neutrogena this remind me of something are you out here copying because this ain't new this don't say new so so we gonna see who copy who we already know who copy who but we gonna see you know which one which one about to win this battle anyway with that being said uh 12 ounces of this product will run you about anywhere between eight to ten dollars depending on where you go um this is the biggest size i've seen i've been seeing in any other place for in smaller sizes i've only seen 12 ounces of the neutrogena daily facial cleanser and Cetaphil's daily facial cleanser this is eight ounces will run you about six dollars seven dollars depending on where you go so let's go ahead and swatch both products okay so the first one we're going to swatch is the original the daily facial cleanser um there we have it that is Cetaphil's daily facial cleanser and here is Neutrogena's I will say Neutrogena's is a little thick. A little thickums here. And that is Neutrogena's Daily Facial Cleanser. So can you guys see? So this is Neutrogena's Daily Facial Cleanser. And this is Cetaphil. Um, it's going down. Neutrogena's is running a little faster. And that's because I added a little bit more. But I will say, let me turn the light down. I feel that Neutrogena's product, just a little bit thicker. And Cetaphil's is a little bit more thinner, the on the thinner side. Okay, so let's go ahead and smell Cetaphil's first. Um, Cetaphil's, we know it has like a light little baby powder scent. The scent is subtle. It's just light baby powder. If you're smelling it out of the bottle, it smells like baby powder slash alcohol but however when it's like foamy in your hands it just it's a light baby powder scent it's not gonna hurt you it's not gonna hurt you um let's go ahead <laughs> and smell the daily facial cleanser um this one okay so out the packaging it smells like a mixture of very fragrant shampoo cologne hand wash uh, glue but when you put it on your skin and you're washing it it just smells very like hand wash base to me um shampoo um so yeah remind you this product is new <laughs> okay okay so y'all can see my face is wet my hands is wet i'm just drenched okay so now let's go ahead and put both products on my skin i am going to be putting cetaphil on this side so one pump ooh 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 is all I need and then we will do Neutrogena the daily facial cleanser on this side and so one pump so that's all I am gonna do on this side of my face for Neutrogena is one pump and for Cetaphil one pump so nobody say I'm using too much product so let's go ahead and put both of them to the test so here is Cetaphil and here's Neutrogena Neutrogena is lathering up a little bit quicker than Cetaphil I will say go ahead Thickums Neutrogena you out here thick and lathering and foaming and Cetaphil now is finally foaming okay here we go let me get my forehead here is Cetaphil and here is Neutrogena. Let me turn the light down. So here is Cetaphil and here is Neutrogena. Um, what do y'all think? Bam, bam. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and rinse my face. Okay, you guys, so my face is officially rinsed. I am going to go ahead and dry my face and then we can do the close-up. Okay, you guys, so here is Neutrogena cheek. What do you guys think? Here is Cetaphil's cheek. What do you guys think? Neutrogena. Cetaphil. Here is my chin. Neutrogena. Cetaphil. Here is my forehead. Uh, Neutrogena. Cetaphil. What do you guys think? 
Um, let me look in the mirror. Um, um, there is a lot to talk about. A lot for us to talk about, so let's get into it. So I do want to say this about both cleansers. They're both a bit drying. Um, I did feel that Neutrogena's product will clean your face a little bit better than Cetaphil. However, I do want to say this, they clean pretty much the same in my opinion. When I did have makeup days, even though we in quarantine, I'm still trying to look cute 10% of the time. <laughs> With that being said, when I did look cute um, and I took off my makeup, both cleansers were pretty much easy to take off my makeup. Okay, so this is something that's interesting with both products. So with the Neutrogena product, when you're cleansing your face, you could feel your face being uh, cleansed really, really well. Um, you get more of a squeaky clean feeling on the Neutrogena side, whereas in with the Cetaphil product is cleansing your face and then it feels like it's leaving some sort of mask, like protective barrier. It's really not stripping your face as much as the Neutrogena product. I hope that makes sense. Where you won't get as much of a squeaky clean feeling on the Cetaphil side as you would the Neutrogena side. Virtually my pores when I did use them separate days look the same. Now talking to you guys now looking in the mirror now my pores look the same. My skin is brighter on both sides. Um, I honestly felt that the Cetaphil side was a little bit brighter. It did give me more of a supple and soft look and my skin just wasn't being stripped as much as it was with the Neutrogena. I mean the Neutrogena product is very drying even though it's for sensitive skin it's a very drying product like really drying and my face is dry y'all I, I gotta keep this thermal spray <laughs> I do want to say this, days when I used the Cetaphil product um, and I did my other steps in my skincare routine, did my moisturizers, my serums, even BHAs or AHAs when I was using them, I did feel Cetaphil, I didn't need more product as opposed to days when I did use Neutrogena, I needed way more product. I just feel that that squeaky clean feeling on the Neutrogena side, you need to use way more product and way more serums. So make sure if you do decide to get the Neutrogena product, make sure you get Get really hydrating serums, really hydrating moisturizers um, to help aid in bringing moisture back to your skin because the Neutrogena side will cleanse your skin really well, but it's going to strip your skin of more oils as opposed to the Cetaphil side. However, I do feel this way. If you didn't like Cetaphil product, you felt Cetaphil's product broke you out, you felt Cetaphil's product was too drying, then I feel that Neutrogena would be a good, um, maybe a good copy. Because at the end of the day, you know what? I am not about to sit here and lie. <laughs> Who copy who? This ain't new. Hold them to Tegina. This ain't new. This says new. <laughs> so we already know you out here copy and set of fail. But I'm not mad at you. Cetaphil is getting a lot of shine out here lately. But you know, at the end of the day, brands copy brands. YouTubers copy YouTubers, you know. You know, everybody and their mama copy because, you know, people can't come up with original ideas, so they got to steal from smaller brands. You know, Neutrogena got a whole lot, but they decided that you got to have a daily facial cleanser and a hydrating cleanser as well. <laughs> I had nothing to say. You know, the brand's about as messy as the YouTubers. What y'all want for me? I just can't see <laughs> Oh my god. Anyways, that is all I have to say. If the Cetaphil product broke you out and you didn't care for it, it would not hurt to try the Neutrogena product. You'll probably get a way better performance. And the Neutrogena product does say it is for sensitive skin dermatologists develop. And I do want to say this. It is for sensitive skin. They say that. However, if you are sensitive to fragrances, please be careful. Uh, if your skin reacts bad to fragrances, be careful with the Neutrogena product. Um, Cetaphil product got fragrances in it anyway. The daily facial cleanser, so you shouldn't be using it anyway. However, that is if you're sensitive to fragrances. Um, I do want to say this. 
um, there were days that I did experience texture on the Cetaphil side where I did not experience it on the Neutrogena side. So all in all, I think both of them are great products. It really depends on what brand you grew up with. If you want to try something new, all those factors depend. I grew up with Neutrogena, so at the end of the day, I'm probably going to tend to buy the Neutrogena product again. And that's just because I grew up with it. However, I am a centrist and a person who's an independent, so I probably would rebel and go to Cetaphil. But Neutrogena has helped me with my skin through the rough and bad of times. <laughs> You know, you can't go wrong keeping what you grew up on. Um, anyways, with that being said, you guys, let me know your thoughts below. Have you tried both cleansers? What is your favorite? They are both drying, but hunty. Woo! It's time for a moisturizer and a serum. With that being said, you guys, I want to thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you thumbs up this video. And make sure you're following me on all my social media sites. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in our next video. Bye, you guys. Mwah!